Here we go. Courtney. You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. Brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team. DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance. PMR Roofing. Home Serve Home Warranty. Republic Title. Evolution Moving and Keen Landscaping. Now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What is up, party people? Welcome to the show. I'm excited. I am excited for today's show. We got lots to talk about. We got some election stuffs to talk about. Who knew? Who knew that politics could impact the real estates? But it does, and we'll get into why and how and where we saw that uh, happen. Uh, we're also going to talk about what's happening on the ground in residential real estate here in Dallas Fort Worth. That's what we always do here on the show. We will also talk about what you're being told from a national level. And we're also going to get a little nitpicky with some folks that thought they were really, really smart the last five, six, seven years and are finding out as the market has shifted that they might not have been quite as smart as they thought they were. And this is not an attack on anyone, but we're going to get into why business models that are super, super dependent on a consistently upwardly mobile market are not sound business models, certainly not in the long term. So why are so many companies within the real estate space laying people off, changing the way they approach business? Um, you know, what are the consequences of blind optimism and uh, nearly endless funding? So we'll get into that and why that matters to people who uh, own property and, um, you know, on the ground out in the world. Uh, so we'll get into all those things. If you have questions, we want to answer them. 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. Or, of course, you can always go online anytime, day or night, to toddtremontiteam.com. If somehow you spell that wrong, just Google it. You'll get close enough, and we'll uh, we'll find each other. It'll be glorious. Uh, toddtremontiteam.com. You can fill out any form call or text any phone number and uh, you know click any button ultimately you're going to find us whichever way is easiest and best for you and we can get you connected with a full-time fully dedicated world-class expert specializing in what you want or need toddtremontiteam.com or shoot your questions right now 214-310-0008 first segment is going to be brought to you by patrick gleros and cardinal financial we have told you for years and years and years, Patrick has built a team similar to how we have built a team here at the Tottermoney Home Selling Team. He's uh, hired people. He's put a team together where they're able to use their gifts and abilities to best serve every single one of their clients. Uh, I've used Patrick multiple times. Todd and his wife have used Patrick multiple times over the years, and so many of our clients have. You can go to patrickgleros.com, patrickgleros.com, where you can start your application right there. NMLS number 308 eight zero four no one should you guys shouldn't have let me make the coffee today it's just it's really bad and it's totally my fault i'm sorry i want to apologize to everyone listening we with all of us might be off today because of the it looks horrific. absolute jet sludge that is in the pot and now and mason leaves mason was you know one of his many roles was in charge of making coffee i would like the record to show it's not be it's not because mason didn't make it it's because the amount of coffee consumed has changed so much since Mason left. I tried to make a half pot and I blew it. It's on me. I'm not blaming anybody else, but I, I'm capable of making a pot of coffee. Apparently not a so half the, pot. The key is on a half pot, take what you would have normally used on a full pot and okay. divide by two. You're saying it's half. Half of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll try that next time, Courtney. No, go back to the full. Go back to the full pot because I... You feel, you feel like you can more than compensate for yeah, his... Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And I'm kind of bummed about the jet full. We're I'm learning. Honestly. I'm sorry. I did. I went back and tried to fix it and I probably made it worse. All right. Hey, folks, you are listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. I am Todd Tremonti. We do have a full studio. We're still working on a nickname for uh, Coatney. That's not a very good nickname for Courtney. Didn't Mason promise us one by this week? He did and he has not yet to deliver that. But you know what? He doesn't work here anymore. So we'll see when he gets around to it. He'll get around to it. He'll let us know. Uh, but if you've got a great nickname for Courtney, as you get to know her sitting quietly in the background behind her brand new computer monitor, uh, you can let us know. Find us anywhere on social media, on the webs, or call or text 214-310-0008. And you let us know what you think we should call Courtney. Because around here, just about the last thing we're going to call anyone 
is their actual legal name. All right, folks, we also have the Yanni Donny, the English wonder himself in studio, a little fired up this week. I'm going to let you do it. Hold, hold steady. I'm going to let you say what you need to say. But man, I, there was a glistening gleam in Ian's eye this week as he, as he floated through the office. What was it all about? I have a football team again, Middlesbrough. <laughs> it's like yeah! it's like a new manager turned them all into new players. Is it's that what I'm unbelievable. Hit? We we look good. Uh, <laughs> we look really good. If you're not a longtime loyal listener and you have no clue what anyone's been talking about the whole time we've been on air today, Ian is talking about his glorious home, what we would call soccer, others would call football team, in England from Middlesbrough, the borough. The borough. And they're good all of a sudden. I mean, we look really good. Now, they've we're been bad forward, for a while. We're attacking, we're scoring goals. <laughs> Ian was texting this with World his... This World Cup break has come at the wrong time for us. World Cup starts in... Like Ian two. was texting with his father across countries and oceans and time zones yesterday about glorious little bitty intricacies of a match uh, in the FA Cup, if I'm correct. No, you're wrong. It was I'm... just... It was the league. Okay. It was league play. And uh, apparently Middlesbrough's got a new manager. You, you know that because Ian's told you that on the show. And now Michael they're, pl- Carrick, now they're playing you. well. And that's it. That's literally all we can handle for the football minute here on Texas Real Estate. We've got a one-month break from the Middlesbrough stuff well, because the World going. Cup's going to start and we'll still have going. some World Cup stuff. The worst World Cup planning in the history of World Cup is what I'm hearing. The, the they guitar. have Thanksgiving big game, England versus USA. Yeah, probably not going to go so well in the middle of both NFL and college football in America. Probably not the best ratings play, but hey, I hope it goes well for the World Cup. All right. If you would now, if anyone is still listening, if you would like to talk about real estate, you can text your question to 214-310-0008. But here's what I've got for you. Uh, The market's changing in DFW. You know that because you've been listening for a while, but it's changing in a way that it has not changed in quite a while. And that is buyers are beginning to adjust to what has been for buyers a very new opportunity really since May, but it has become very clear to buyers since the end of summer. So uh, June, July, August rolled around. There was massive confusion. People were making decisions based on completely different information all at the same time in the exact same market. But what we've seen in September, definitely October, and now a good chunk of November is that buyers are starting to kind of come out of their hiding places and realize there's some real opportunity here. So just this week on our team, we had buyers go under contract uh, and then get appraisals for twenty dollars and $30,000 above what their home was under contract for, which means a neutral third-party valuation, which is typically somewhat conservative, was willing to value that home at tens of thousands of dollars above what they agreed to on the contract. It happened with David uh, this past week. We yep. had one Andrew had one. $26,000 above what we went under contract for. Yeah. So if you're a home buyer in the current market. Which, just as a side, was $10,000 under what it was listed at. What they were asking for. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a home buyer in the current market, you need to reach out to us right now. 214-310-0008 or online. ToddTremontyTeam.com. At ToddTremontyTeam.com. And, you know, no promises that everyone's going to save thirty grand on their house, but now is a really, really good time to be a home buyer. Wait, Todd. Interest rates are high. Hey, Todd. Interest rates are high. Oh, thank you so much. Uh-huh. Um, they are. They're higher than they've been in a while, but uh, the Federal Reserve bumped the uh, the Fed rate, which we've, t- we've explained a bunch of times on the show, but that's, that's not a direct rate rise of the mortgage rates. We'll get into that a little bit more later in the show, what the Fed did and how it's impacting uh, residential mortgage rates. But in short, residential mortgage rates really have not gone up since the most recent Fed rate bump. So we're basically somewhat stabilized. Anything could change at any time, of course, especially after elections. But in reality, the big note today if for buyers and sellers is that buyers are starting to kind of regain some footing and they're starting to make decisions again. So it's going. it looks to me like the month of December is going to actually be a fairly active month in DFW real estate. That the month of December, we're going to see transactional volume look healthier than a lot of people expected. So uh, if you're thinking about buying or selling, my recommendation is that you give a very serious look at getting that done before the end of the year. We say that every year because we believe 
moving when others aren't moving is an advantage to you on the buy side. And if you have the right strategy, you can also win on the sell side. The reason this year is probably an even better opportunity is because it's been a really, really tight gridlocked market for the last six months or so. Really kind of March or April through you know September, October was pretty tightly locked where a lot of people were sitting on the sidelines watching and waiting for the right time to move. There were definitely people moving, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't as much as would normally happen. And there were a lot of people that were moving had to. Now we're seeing some of the people that don't have to make it back out into the market and, and be successful. Our sellers right now are being wildly successful. Um, and our buyers are having, you know, huge benefits. Now it's different. You have to have a different approach. You have to have a different plan. You have to have some different self-control. Uh, but we believe the next 30 to 40 days is going to be a really, really good window of opportunity. And that's exactly how we're counseling our clients. If you would like to know exactly how we counsel our clients, if you'd like a free strategy session, go to toddtremonteteam.com or just text strategy or session or I'd like to chat to 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008. One of the things that I think people need to really understand and that we are explaining is just days on market, mm -hmm. right? And just how that has changed but even, even back beginning of this year, when people felt as though homes were selling in three hours, yep. they were still on the market. You know, the, the average, average days yeah. on market was still somewhere in the high teens to low 20s. Exactly right. Yep. Right now, you know, depending on those same areas, you, you may be looking at double that, yep. something like that. But... That, that doesn't mean you've missed this like amazing opportunity. It just means there's expectations that need to be set accordingly so that you're educated on what that's going to look like. Yeah, and, and the tricky thing is in most parts of DFW, that days on market, like the time that a house is on the market for sale is still stretching. Mm -hmm. It's still getting a little bit longer. Now, based on what I'm seeing right now, we'll see how it shakes out. But based on what I'm seeing right now, there's we're, we're on the very front edge of kind of settling into the current market. Like it, it, it's probably will not continue to change as quickly as it has been changing. It seems like we're, there's some settling in that's happening. Now there's seasonality in the market where just stereotypically when the holidays start, activity starts to slow. So there's so many variables right now. There's just not a lot of certainty in the market, but I'm telling you what we're seeing is buyers are winning, but sellers can still win. Sellers are starting to lose a little bit with it when they don't have the right strategy. If you want to have a quick strategy session, uh, call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. If you want to try and save a little money and get incredible insurance, give DP a call, shoot uh, him an email, reach out to him, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com. It's what I did not too long ago and saved $2,000, just under $2,000 on both my home and auto insurance. When they combine them together, they don't always do that. They're going to figure out what's the absolute best thing for you. They're going to make sure you get the best coverage at the uh, at the lowest price that they can possibly do. dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com you know the thing i do feel bad for dp about right now is that he's such an aggie fan and just things aren't really going that well for them right now you know i'm an aggie fan too todd oh that's right aggie by marriage <laughs> and uh, yeah it's not been good i don't wish harm on anybody it really is it's just rough it's rough here's what's insane if they was to fire jimbo they still have to pay him even if he got another job because this was written into his contract yep. they still owe him i think it's 90 million yep even if he got another job. Whatever's left of the 95. So here's the crazy part. My assumption is that there's a bunch of Aggie boosters hiding in a room trying to find the one clause in his contract that they can get out of, and they just it's not there. It's an unbelievable contract. Yeah. So anyway, uh, and I'm not entirely sure it's all his fault either. That's just a rough spot to be for, for such an incredible program. So anyway, that was just my jab at DP because we love him. And insurance usually sounds boring to most people. But the fact is you need it, and they do a really great job. And maybe the best part of all is they communicate well and actually help you think through your needs. And virtually everybody we send over there saves money and gets more coverage. Pretty sweet deal. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Let's talk about some homes on land for a little bit. We, we talked about mm -hmm. it last week. Um, let's talk about it every week. Yeah, let's give folks an, an understanding of what that truly means. Like when, when you say homes on land, are we talking about homes on 50 acres? Are we talking about homes on like a little bit? Like what, let's, what does that let's, look let's like? Do, let's do something really quick. 
I rarely ever speak like directly to our audience like this. It's actually technically bad radio, but you know, we do whatever we want around here. Take care of our people no matter what. If you have any interest whatsoever now or sometime in the future in living on what I would call a really big lot, like half acre up to 20 acres, doesn't matter. Just you're not, It's not a farm and a ranch, but it's also not a normal yard. If you, if you have interest in doing that now or at any time, would you just text land to our, to our radio line? 214-310-0008. I just kind of want to take a little survey here. 214-310-0008. We're not going to send, we're not going to automatically reply with anything. There's no campaign set up. I'm just curious from our listeners, uh, how many of our friends in the DFW area have an interest in this? Because we, this is an area we have specialized in for 15 plus years. You know, I live on a property like that. Uh, a couple of our team members do or, or want to in the future. Um, Mace, that's, that's what Mason's working. Actually, Mason's going to have a little bit of a working farm. So that's not technically what we're talking about. But the point is, um, this has always been a segment of the population uh, that has interest in this. I said that really awkwardly. There's always been a segment of the population that's interested in more space, more privacy, more freedom, more room to play, to work, to grow things, to you know, swim and recreate and all those things, right? Um, there, there tend to be waves of interest, right? Depending on what's happening in the culture or the economy, right? So after Vietnam, well, really after the World Wars, there was this kind of, um, so, you know, your contribution to the American society was to grow some of your own food because there were shortages and there was rationing and things like that. And then in the 60s and 70s, there were multiple times where back to the land movements were kind of the deal, where homesteading as a true lifestyle approach became a big deal. We talked about this recently where there have been movements in homeschooling. There's been movements anti-school policy, anti-government policy, anti um, work policy, you know, this isn't political, but th these are the things that tend to cause these big movements. Well, COVID started another one in the middle of one that was already going, right? So there just seems to be a significant, um, nearly constant demand for these types of properties. And then there, on top of that, come these surges. In one of the more recent surges was COVID. One was... Um, you know, a kind of an outcry of what are school boards doing, regardless of where your opinion is on that. That's just a reality. So as a real estate brokerage, as a company, we are getting a lot of these calls. Hey, where can I get an acre? Hey, where can I, where could I move that I could build a shop behind my house? Hey, where could I move that my parents could live with us on the same property in a second home? Uh, where could I live that I can have a pond or I could put in a well or I could do solar or I could raise you know, like five chickens, not a working farm, but where, where am I allowed to do that? And so over the years as a company, that's become something that we're really excited about, passionate about, um, knowledgeable about, and we've had really phenomenal results. I looked the other day at our team numbers because of some marketing that we're doing. And, um, it is 100% true in that focus area that we still sell homes over the average price and under the average time, those homes traditionally take longer to sell and they even take longer to buy and our team still sells them under the average time and over the average price. Um, we also tend to get a lot of harder to quantify value for our clients where they end up keeping a tractor, uh, or keeping a chicken coop or, you know, keeping outdoor kitchen equipment type things. So, you know, the more and more we do it, the more and more we love it. Um, but what we're saying when we say that is, what, whatever you might define as a large lot. So it might be half your neighbors, your neighborhood is all quarter acre lots and you've got the one in the corner. that's a half acre or three quarters of an acre all the way up to where, you know, you've got a big barbed wire fence and a bunch of land behind your house, but you really treat it like a gigantic yard. It's not a for profit farmer ranch. So that could, I mean, we've done that up to 39 acres, I think is the biggest one we've done that we would categorize that way. But most of them are half an acre, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that range. Um, but really anything in that range that is not a for-profit farmer ranch, we do that for people that want the space to, to live their lives that way. It's really important that if you have something like that and you're thinking about selling it, that you talk with somebody that really does specialize and knows what that looks like to sell yeah. it. We've talked about how 
when we have a property that we're going to go ahead and sell, we sit down as a team, as a marketing team, and we figure out what is that home going to be worth. Those are some of the hardest homes to try and value, to put a value on. Especially if you don't do a lot of them. Exactly. Because there's so much nuance to it that you really need to have that expertise around it so that you can figure out, so we can figure out on the Todd Tremonti team, like what that's going to look like. But even if that's not us, like have somebody that really does that often so that you can do that. I've got my hand up. Can you please call on me? Todd? Uh, the problem with that, Ian, is that uh, there's almost no one that specializes it's in it. It's true. So we do, and we would love to be a resource for you if we're a fit for you and you're a fit for us, and certainly not everybody is. As a matter of fact, there's typically a short application process because we can only really deliver world-class value and delightful experiences to so many clients. Um, and so we're selective on that. But one of the niches that we really love to serve is what we call homes on land or these homes with large lots, these big backyard properties. It's not quite so, as catchy a name, homes on large lots. Nope. We're working on, you know, what people identify with. The reality is people call it lots of different things and it's all the same thing. It's a property with a really big space behind it or next to it that is not a for-profit effort. So um, here's the deal. Regardless of what type of property you buy, you sell, or you own, we recommend a home warranty. Um, and a home warranty is going to help you sleep a little bit better at night, knowing that if the basic systems in your home ever fail, somebody else is going to take care of that for you. I think you'll sleep a little bit better at night. I know you'll save some money and we really like, uh, homeserve.com. So homeserve home warranty has been a provider for us for, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 years now, maybe even a little bit longer. I've had home serve warranties, uh, on every new home we bought, meaning every time we bought a home that was new to us, um, for at least the first year or two, and oftentimes for a really long time, dishwasher goes out, you have a plumbing or electrical issue, something simple like that, you just call them. Instead of having to worry about who's the right vendor and and when can they come out, you call the home warranty company, they get that all taken care of, Uh, the annual policy is paid for, and then you just pay a small trip fee every time instead of having to pay the electrician, the plumber, the pest person, all these silly things. Go to homeserve.com, homeserve.com. They've been taking great care of us and our clients for years and years and years. They'll take great care of you too. Homeserve home warranty at homeserve.com. We've had a bunch of rain recently. We've had some storms roll through. There's some some hail has rolled through. Uh, check Check out your roof. Check on your roof. Make sure it's okay. Roofs might have feelings. You okay up there? Yeah, you got to make sure. Contact PMR Roofing. Go to pmrroofing.com. Give John a call. Reach out to him on the website. Uh, it's one of the things that we need to make sure is always being taken care of. It covers our entire home, and people just don't think about it. PMR will come out. They'll give you give it a look at. They'll, uh, they'll check it out. They'll let you know if there's anything that needs to be done to it. And they'll also let you know if there's nothing that needs to be done to it, because that's what they're going to do. They're going to be super honest with you. They're not just going to try and get your business for the sake of it. They are going to give you exactly what you need PMR straight roofing. shooters com. with upper management written all over them it's a great boom pmrroofing.com hey if you're thinking about buying selling or improving your property value you know what you should do you should just give us a call and we'll be glad to help 214-310-0008 and i'll say it one more time if you're at all interested in owning a property with some land around it with some acreage with a big lot just text us land or interest or whatever to 214-310-0008 214-310 Zero, 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 0008. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP.